Welcome guys, today I'm going to show you how to complete beginner luck achievement in Steam the most easiest and efficient way possible. Now, the first thing that you want to do is to have three main characters. I recommend you to do Ranger because Ranger does a lot of damage, also Burning Arrow um, when he ignites the, uh, the final boss Hillock, it will do a ton of damage. So, you want three character and a fourth one which is a reset. What does that mean? Well, sometimes you're going to do so fast though particular uh, area, a strand, that uh, the map will be not ready for the next uh, character to, uh, to clear it up. So let's start with the first. I'm going to give you some tips and trust me guys, this will not be fun experience. Uh, it for me was really, it was not. Make sure to not equip armor because it's going to reduce your movement speed by 3%. And for some of you might say, oh wow, this is just 3%. Well, if you do this 300 times, like probably I did even more, 3% uh, matters because this is definitely going to slow you down a lot. Yeah, this is obviously uh, respectively for a shield as well. So yeah, pick up the support gem. Very importantly, the support gem gives you a movement speed. Um, it's going to help you out hiding hello. Uh, something else before I forget it. Don't you ever go out from the area. You don't need to go out from the area. Um, the only thing that you need to do is escape and exit to character selection. Now, other tips and tricks that you can use. Um, you can kill enemies till level 3. Uh, why is that important? Well, once you reach level 3 or even 4, you basically have way more points spent in the retreat, which means that the character will be more, way more powerful. Now, the most important stats to look for items, rare and magic, is, of course, rarity of item found. Now, the more rarity of item found you have, the bigger chance it's Hallock to uh, drop a unique item. As we know, the, the heal lock is definitely him into the whole area drops the most items in any other mob any other chest and any other corpse or burrow you're gonna you're gonna interact with which means that if you have a lot of rare tv them found you have more chance to roll throw for that unique item and complete the achievement now some of you might ask but why exactly three rangers um is it better to have more characters and stuff like that well guys you just need three rangers it's very hard to min max them in this particular area to have as much as possible damage um movement speed on boots and of course most important stat relative in the fount so three are completely enough and like i said before sometimes you're gonna do uh, this particular run way too fast and you the your first for example character will the map will not reset for him that's why we have uh the fourth ranger which is the resetter you only use him when um when the map didn't reset for the remaining uh rangers uh because it's gonna break the, se the sequence and you have to wait and you know it's just better to just do another run with the resetter than just wait now with uh, good luck and hopefully you don't reach this luck to gather 60% rarity of item found, you can definitely uh, reach that number. Um, my character, uh, when I was doing this on the stream, I reached um, maybe like 30 something and it was still not enough to give me immediately this item. I needed to grind it uh, for a couple of hours. Uh, combinedly, maybe I spent six hours into it um, to do the same thing over and over again, which is was not very, 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 very making me happy. But definitely the tricks that I'm giving you right now, it will speed up the process, that's for sure. Oh, fucking wait happened. Fuck this game, man. Fuck you, little shit. Fuck you. Oh, it's a quality item as well for more items dropping. Fuck this shit. Now, when you reach around level 5, um, I, or even 4, around level four, uh, 5 and 4, uh, 4 and 5, whatever you want to look at it, uh, try to only open uh, burrows and, and interact with corpses because um, they will provide you with wisdom scrolls. And in order to identify items, obviously we need um, wisdom scroll and this will give you more chance to gather more rarity and guard achievement uh, sooner. Uh, interacting with any other enemy is not only not going to give you a lot of items, uh, also going to lose your time, which is very important. And 
you know, they just they just don't drop loot and no longer give you that much experience to level up and uh, make the character more stronger. So there is no point killing anything different than the heal lock itself. So yeah, after level 4, level 5, depends how you look at it, you know. I've been watching many guides and I did it uh, in my own way and I even I find more um, these particular uh, ways to do it faster. So if you're more genius than I am, just do you, but definitely around level 4, you should start thinking about just focusing at him, because he's gonna drop the most loot, he's gonna drop uh, the most rare items, and he probably have the most chance to drop uh, wisdom scrolls, even if the most scrolls that I've been gathering was from corpses. So guys, this is the the whole video i hope it was uh, helpful um uh, if there is anything uh, any updates or anything tips and tricks that uh, i missed out oh if, if i remember them i'll definitely put them in the video description below or in a comment into the video um it's not the most happiest achievement that i've been making ever uh but uh, it's it, the feeling is very good after you achieving it um yeah uh, catch me guys uh, stream i will stream the path of exile affliction leak and i'm planning to do some uh to grind every single challenge into the affliction leak and you can guys catch me live doing that uh i love achievements i love challenges i love to grind um, uh, trophies and stuff like that so uh, i definitely gonna enjoy the next leak uh so yeah see you in the stream uh, see you next video hope you're doing well and yeah, see you next time.